I work at Deloitte Consulting. More than often, we meet clients in the pharmaceutical industry who need our services in predicting future values of their company, which is largely determined by the expected values of the new drugs currently going through clinical trials. They always tell us a lot is on the stakes with these predictions, and yet, it is very difficult to do the task. So, we got to thinking, why so many companies are serious about these problems, and why it hasn't been solved yet? Pharmaceutical companies have several drug options in their pipeline. In order for these drugs to come out on the market, it needs to go through a lot of processes. The entire journey is not only costly, but can take up to a couple of decades. Especially the clinical trial phase is a very unpredictable and resource-consuming process. If the drug fails during trials, all previous effort becomes futile. That is why pharmaceutical companies are constantly trying to figure out in advance what the chances are of a drug passing clinical trials, so that they can prioritize their pipelines and maximize return on R&D investments. This is not only a concern for the company, but for the investors as well. The market value of the company depends on a lot of different factors, and one of them is the probability of the new drug's clinical trial success. Companies' value is dependent on, and fluctuates along with this factor. So investors are always in need of stability, ultimately meaning foreseeability in future clinical trial success is desired. We thought, wouldn't that be a million dollar problem worth to challenge? Why don't you just challenge this supposedly unsolvable problem and change the dynamics in which pharmaceutical companies make big decisions? We wondered if a scientific approach can play a role in this. And it was indeed possible. We found that machine learning algorithms can achieve this and are actually better than humans at it. So the Deloitte team began the journey to making a machine learning model. The team would feed it past FDA data on clinical trials, making it learn what type of drugs brought what kind of results in past trials. The model would learn from the data it was fed using multiple machine learning algorithms. Simply put, it would learn from existing cases and predict future drug trial outcomes with increased accuracy. After this process was repeatedly executed to enhance the abilities of the model, it was able to automatically calculate the input data. And the model was named dpredict. We are management consultants dealing with the most complex business issues that our clients have not been able to solve. Some of the questions are not completely solvable, but we give it a try and we challenge and we make the progress. That's the whole point of dpredict. DeepReadic isn't about providing just numbers or percentages. It's about being aware of the problems in the status quo, taking action, changing the future, enabling better decisions. DeepReadic, challenging uncertainty.